completing a dizzying feat for charity. Rhiannon McCall has more. Nothing says summer like a somersault. But doing 68 of them in a row, you have to be flipping mad. This is huge what you're attempting to do, Shay. How are you feeling about it? When I first came and saw the tower, I was like, oh man, what am I doing? 68 somersaults, four grandparents raising grandchildren. Why have you picked somersaults? I'm like an old person <laughs> who is kind of revisiting childhood because that's what I used to love doing as a kid. So I, I highly recommend any adult who used to jump off a wharf when their kids get back into it, man. It's such a buzz. Probably every tenth one, I'm probably going to throw in a swan dive. I love my swan dives. Why is this charity close to your heart? I'm a grandparent, four grandchildren, beautiful grandchildren, in my own humble opinion. It breaks my heart to, to think that the grandparent-grandchild relationship has to change. And usually it's very traumatic circumstances, so this is my way of trying to help them get some resources so they can continue with their amazing work. Judith, tell me how grandparents raising grandchildren started. It's really just one grandmother who was, you know, confronted with looking after a grandchild. She just struggled a little bit with that, mm. and she thought there must be other people who are struggling as well. If you think Bruce has a familiar face, well, you'd be right. He starred as gambling in The Lord of the, the Rings and has acted alongside some Hollywood heavyweights. It leads into the mountains. How has your experience as an actor helped you prepare for this? You know, when you're acting... I'll well, well, name drop Lord of the Rings or that sort of thing. There's Peter Jackson and Richard Taylor and they've picked you. You're here for a reason. So stay calm and, um, and try to focus. Okay, Pop is actually going down in his ratings, so let's hope he can bring it back for the next jump. Hey, Bruce, halfway, how are you feeling? I kind of think that it might get easier, but each time I'm there, it's like, I'm screwing up, man. We've got Bruce here, he's about of a way through his jumps, what, how's he going? I mean, he's fantastic. A 68-year-old who looks like that, he's wow. <laughs> he's looking pretty good for 68. Two and a half hours later, Bruce completes his 68th somersault with his sons by his side. Yay! How are you feeling? A bit knackered, yeah, yeah, sort of feel... Uh, you know, a bit wiped out inside kind of thing, and my shoulders are sore. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You just did 68 somersaults <laughs> on a six metre high diving board. Congratulations. You can get a little emotional. <laughs> Why are you getting emotional? I don't know, it's just cool. Cool to, to sort of, you know, just achieve shit for people. Try and do stuff. Are you guys proud of what your pop has done? Yeah. Did you think he could do it? Yes. <laughs> has it inspired you guys? Do you want to do big flips? Yeah, when I'm 68. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to Popper about what he's done today? Uh, he's a really good Popper to everyone in the world. Bruce had inspired all of us. Some of us a little too much. Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> she did. She did. That was fantastic. That was so cool to see. Ten. Ten. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if you're interested in donating and you're also feeling inspired by Bruce, you can head to grg.org.nz. I didn't bring a towel.
good on you. And good on you, Bruce, too. A pretty good rig for 68. Amazing. Great rig. We'll be back in just a moment.